This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening, and welcome to Sports Saturday. I'm Julian Gibson. Government schools semifinal volleyball action taking place yesterday at the Donald Davis Gym. CI Gibson senior girls, boy, they kicked the side. CC Sweeting senior girls in two sets. But this was an impressive win today, uh, getting rid of CC uh, Sweeting. Yes, it was. I feel really great about it. Now the battle is only halfway completed. How you feel your team is going to do in the championship? I feel my team is going to do exceptionally well because this is the second year that I'm working with the set of girls, so I feel really great about it. Also in semi-final action, C.R. Walker senior girls got past C.V. Bethel senior girls. The final score was 19-17, 19-11. I feel as if we played good, but I feel as if we could do like a team work more better and we could be able to cover the court. I feel as if we played good as a team. We got together and we did what we were taught. Now in the senior boys semifinals, CC Sweeting taking on CV Bethel senior boys. This one was all Cobras. Cobras on the attack in the first set, winning 1917. Cobras once again attacking in the second set. They would eliminate CV Bethel senior boys 19 to 6. We play Cobras volleyball. This is, this is the coach execute our game plan, you know, when we come with a victory, thanks to God. I believe we play okay, but we didn't play our full potential. I think we play with good heart and we did what was necessary. We followed all our coaches' rules and that's what made us game victorious. Now for the CC Sweeting Cobra Senior Boys, they will take on C.R. Walker Senior Boys in the championship because C.R. Walker got past C.I. Gibson Senior Boys in two sets, 19-17, 19-13. Shifting gears to basketball, Florida Memorial College. Well, they were at the Kendall I-6 gym last night taking on the C.O.B. Cavs. Good crowd at the Kendall I-6 gym taking in some basketball action. Students didn't pay a dime, so the gym should have been full to capacity. COB, boy, they got off the fast start in the first quarter. Florida Memorial, boy, they came storming back in the second quarter, the lead at halftime. Third quarter, Florida Memorial continued to pound it on. The Lions looking good, but in the fourth quarter, the COB Caribs, boy, they would come storming back to tie the score. The end of regulation, 67 all. First overtime, score still knotted up at 75 apiece. But down the stretch, too much Florida Memorial, they would ease to an 83-82 win. That Bahama team got a lot of fight. Those kids worked really hard. But I'm going to tip my hat off to my guys. They played extremely well down the stretch. We needed a stop and we got one. I can't catch a break with these guys, eh? Uh, I don't know. We just didn't execute uh, in, in uh, the, last, the last overtime. Definitely, we didn't execute at all. But fatigue, fatigue played a factor. We didn't have any legs. And when your legs go, the next thing to go is your brain. And we just didn't have it. We just didn't have it down at the end. Still talking basketball, but I'm going to give you a steady diet of basketball. The D-Squad basketball tournament will get started this coming Thursday. This is the 10th year the D-Squad is putting on the preseason basketball tournament. Um, it's been going on for a number of years. It's the test that most coaches use in Nassau to kind of get their teams ready for their particular season. GSSS is going to start the following Monday. And so we are making the invitation to all of the public and private schools, even the small schools, to come out and uh, participate in the D-Squad. Uh, most, most of the schools participate. Um, it's usually a, a good time for us to, you know, have some camaraderie in the game of basketball. And according to Director of Sports at the Ministry of Education, Evan Wisdom, he says that a National High School Basketball Championship is on the way. For years now, we've been talking about a National Basketball champ a National High School Boys Championship uh, because the other tournaments that are uh, highly ranked in our country are invitational tournaments. Over the summer, we worked very hard uh, along with uh, Senator Greg Burroughs, who really is the person that is overall in charge of the National Championship Series. The presentation that was made to us was made to both uh, uh, the uh, to Senator Burroughs and his team, and it was also made uh, to the Bahamas Basketball Federation. I can say that the Bahamas Basketball Federation will uh, play an active role in this, and so it'll be a nonpartisan event in terms of, of the schools running it. It'll be an association similar to how we do in track and field, uh, managing the event. Uh, um, overseen uh, by the Ministry of Education, 
and Senator Burroughs and the National Committee with regards to national championships. And so we see it as a championship that will be balanced. Um, I can say that the format is excellent. We don't have um, uh, where persons, by the time they get to the championships, they're tired and you don't really know who the best person is, that kind of thing. You will know who the best basketball, high school basketball champion um, ship team is in the Bahamas, boys and girls, for the first time this year. Well, that's all the time for Sports Saturday, but remember, the government school volleyball championships will get started on Monday. Special thanks to my cameraman, Ashley Taylor. Stay tuned. Your better forecast is still to come. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.